Alright guys, welcome back to another video of KingX.X coming to you guys with a brand new video and today in this video, this is absolutely insane. So, like I made a video already earlier today talking about a brand new DLC weapon. This is the Itra Burst, which is a pretty awesome weapon. It's a four round burst and honestly, I love this weapon. I don't know what it is about this weapon, but it's by far probably one of the best assault rifles in the game. It has a pretty fast fire rate, which is really awesome. The gun costs you about 25,000 armory credits, so if you guys have that, you guys should definitely spend it because this weapon is really awesome. You're definitely not going to regret it. I've used it for a few games now, and I'm really loving it. Now, the only thing I'm annoyed of is the fact that snipers, I'm just saying that brand new sniper, they should have never added it. Just because every lobby you get into is going to have a bunch of snipers, and it's super annoying. But if you guys cannot tell... There's actually a brand new DLC, like a darn new, like new map or something, which is pretty awesome. It is actually just the headquarters, and you guys can play gun game. You guys can also play free for all, which is what I'm playing in this right now. And you could also play prop hunt in the headquarters. So usually where you go to see Major Howard or get your contracts or firing range, you guys can play throughout that whole entire area, and it's pretty awesome. I am really loving it right now. And as you guys can see, I'm using this brand new DLC weapon. Now, for one, I did get into a lobby with a bunch of noobs who really had no idea what they're doing. Besides the fact I died like nine times, mainly because people were sitting in corners or just like the guy over there who was sitting in the theater, not moving. But, you know, I did get into a lobby with a bunch of noobs who had literally no thumbs besides, like I said, they're camping in corners or things like that. I mean, I should never get that kill against somebody who's actually good at Call of Duty. But then again, I mean... This gun is just super good. I like the iron sights on it. You know, it's actually a very clean iron sights. Like, I'm actually kind of surprised. Like, I didn't think I was probably going to like the iron sights. And after looking at it and actually using it, it's honestly awesome. It doesn't really block up any part of your screen. Your gun doesn't really block that much up. Like, it's just perfect and it just works out so well. And this gun literally kills in one burst. Now, if you guys shoot chest up, it's a one burst kill. Maybe if you shoot a little bit below, then maybe you'll get a hit marker. But a lot of the times, I was getting one burst kills. Like, this thing is like the M16 from Modern Warfare or from Modern Warfare 1. Like, MWR, this is the M16 of that game in Call of Duty World War 2. Like, this gun is raw. Like, I'm just walking up to people, literally shooting them in the stomach or the leg, and they're just dropping like flies. Like, this weapon is insane. By far, probably the best DLC weapon we've ever received. Now, we do have the Volkstorm Gewehr, which is actually a really good assault rifle. By far, probably one of my favorite DLC weapons, and it is an assault rifle. But I don't know what's better. Is it this brand new weapon that we got, which is the Itra Burst, or is it the Volk? I don't know. Like, this is honestly just such a brand new DLC weapon. That's just so much fun. Like, I don't know what it is. It's just so much fun, and you guys should definitely take a look at it, because why wouldn't you? This weapon is super good, and even if you find a lobby full of noobs like me, which I advise you guys go play the headquarters playlist just because you're gonna see a lot of noobs i've played like three or four matches in it and i've always found noobs in every single lobby it is awesome and i hope this stays in the game forever this is honestly very refreshing knowing that you guys can actually play on the headquarters the funny part is this map is probably one of the best maps in the whole entire game i don't know what it is but it's by far probably one of the best mo like best maps and it's actually crazy to think this map, we usually just mess around and we just kind of like do our thing, go to the firing range or whatever. But this map flows so perfect. It's literally three lanes. It's a three lane map and we've been messing around with it. And we didn't even know it. Like, I was actually surprised this played super well. There wasn't that much camping besides, I mean, I'm lying if I said there was no camping. People were sitting in the theater not moving. But I really like it so far. Let me know your guys' thoughts. If you guys actually have played the new headquarters map, let me know what your thoughts is. If you guys did like the video, make sure to like, subscribe, put on post notifications just so you guys never miss a video. Let me know if you guys bought any of the DLC weapons such as the Itra Burst or, of course, you know, the Sterling, which is the SMG. It's a really awesome SMG too. Pretty powerful, but I like the Itra Burst a lot better. And I'll make more videos later on today. I actually will have a supply drop opening, opening up 100 plus supply drops i forgot exactly how much i think it's like 120 or 115 supply drops a bunch of rares a bunch of like epic ones i have a bunch of epic like supply drops all these type of things i'm super excited for you guys to actually see this and you guys can let me know your thoughts down below you guys should really buy this at your burst i mean look at this this was an easy triple kill like come on now this is too easy out here i really love this weapon i'm just honestly i'm in shock how good it is but i'm out peace